New at 6, a community park in Watsonville getting tagged with graffiti so often the city has resorted to handing out paint so that other people can paint the fences themselves. It's led to a patchwork of brown splotches along a trail that's actually walked by dozens of students on their way to and from school. So this weekend they've come up with a solution. A group of artists is coming together to paint a mural there in hopes of deterring vandals as well as sending a positive message. Action News reporter Bianca Beltran has the story. Every day on their walk to and from school, this is what students see in Hazelwood Park. Fences with signs of vandalism covered up. Residents do their best to help the city keep the park free of graffiti, but sometimes it's too much to keep up with. Where others might see blight, artists like Paul see a blank canvas. So we wanted to go ahead and just get rid of all the negativity and put you know, positive pictures, positive murals, and, and also invite the graffiti artists and, and everybody else who, uh, who loves to do art, you know, to come out and participate and put up their, their artwork. He says the only guidance for the project is that it has to be positive and family friendly. Some of the concepts celebrate the diversity of Watsonville. It would look nicer instead of seeing like an uncolored wall, you know? Yeah, it would look nicer. Paul is an art teacher and says the mural is more than just a cleanup project. It's a chance for the community to make their mark on their hometown and realize their potential. When they have that ownership and they, and they say, you know, I did do that, even if it's a small part, they, they do take away from that. And I've had students come back and, uh, you know, they've uh, said, I'm in engineering and I took this idea from the art class that we had and now I'm applying it for engineering or science and things. And it just blows me away. So There's actually already a mural on the other side of the park, but unfortunately it's not immune to graffiti. But the artwork itself does a pretty good job of brightening up the park. The new mural will be painted on Saturday at 10 a.m. All ages are welcome and no experience is required. Definitely one thing to remember is you want to wear old clothing. <laughs> because it's going to get messy. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting in Watsonville, Bianca Beltran, KSBW Action News 8.